If you're looking for an exciting job, something different than the usual, then take note of these five intriguing experienced jobs of the future based on the 100 Jobs of the Future report. You might be surprised that some of these jobs already exist, but most of us never heard about them. What all of these jobs have in common is that the focus is on creating a perfect experience rather than a tangible product. This is driven by an important trend in consumer behavior. Three in four millennials prefer to spend money on a desirable experience or event over buying something desirable. And 55% of millennials say they're spending more on events and live experiences than ever before. Look at Airbnb who has already been offering experiences for some time. For example, techno painting with a Berlin artist in Germany or swimming with majestic sea turtles in Okinawa, Japan. If you think that everything has been done before, that all jobs are plain vanilla and that there are no more great business opportunities, then this video might change your mind. There are millions of things, needs, problems that people have that you can turn into a product or service. If you can identify a trend, a change in human behavior, a need for a solution to a very specific problem, well, then you could be the one to offer that service. Let's get into the five experience jobs and keep in mind that even though these might not be exactly what you're looking for, if you pay close attention, you might find inspiration and get ideas that you can apply in your own search for your perfect job. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to smash the like button and leave your comments below. That would help to get the video out to more people. Number 1. Analog Experience Guide Over 50% of people in the US spend more than 5 hours per day on their smartphones, just on non-work related activities. Add to that the number of hours spent working on your computer and it's easy to see how that can result in digital overload. Many people experience digital fatigue and even digital burnout as a result of this. But as every problem presents a business opportunity, this is the perfect time for an analog experience guide. Experts say that the best way to heal from digital fatigue is simply unplugging from digital life. And that's what an analog experience guide helps with. And yes, I do understand the irony of you trying to enjoy this video on your screen through your earphones, but well. Analog experience guides help people appreciate a simpler and slower life, enjoying and reconnecting with the natural world without the aid of VR, AR, or any sorts of screens and gadgets. Together with psychologists, they help people recover from digital addictions by getting their patients to do yoga, apply mindfulness techniques, grow plants, cooking, and analog art making. You know the thing we used to do as kids? Funny how all of these things used to be activities that humans did anyway, but now need to be packaged as a service to teach people how to unwind from their stressful jobs, which they pay for sometimes at a higher rate per hour than what they earn from their jobs. But that's a topic for another video. I'm pretty sure that this industry offers a lot of opportunities, but tell me in the comments what you think of this development. If you think that this could be something for your career in the future, think about what kind of analog experiences you could package and sell to the increasingly stressed out population on this planet. Number 2. Food Knowledge Communicator If you're a health and nutrition geek and are interested to work in an innovative industry, then this, the Food Knowledge Communicator, might be something for you. The Food Knowledge Communicator's job is to design communication campaigns to provide real-time information about food items. Imagine you walk into a supermarket, pick up a food product, and get real-time information about the item, including its nutritional value. While there is already general nutritional information on packaged items, the communication through an app could highlight information that's specifically relevant to you. For example, what the ratio of omega-3 to 6 is, whether there might be any potential allergic reactions, or if the food item is suitable as part of a ketogenic diet plan or not. In theory, there's no limit as to what information can be included. It could also highlight how ethically it was produced or reveal some other information about the supply chain and production process. The customer can then use this information as part of her personalized nutrition plan. The goal here is to help people source healthier food items and change their relationship with food. What do you think about this? Is this useful or is it just too much? Number 3. Virtual Assistant Personality Designer 
Virtual assistants like Siri, Alexa, Google Assistant promise to do a lot of things that make your life easier. Their voices and speech are also getting more natural with every version. Open the curtains. So I don't have arms, you know. Can't you just pull the tab yourself? Now, imagine if they could not only organize your life, but also take on the personality that you want. Instead of a listless robotic voice like this. Multiple Careers YouTube channel. Here are some videos of multiple careers I found on the web. You have the voice of your friend or your mom talking to you. Mm, what's that curry taste? Curry. <laughs> mm. Or perhaps not. Or even your favorite celebrity like Scarlett Johansson. Samantha. Hey, where'd you get that name from? I gave it to myself, actually. If you prefer an anonymous voice, how about having a voice based on personality traits, such as an extroverted virtual assistant or an introverted VA, or a VA with humor? That will be the job of the VA personality designer. They'll interview the human user to find out what personality traits the user wants in the virtual assistant. Then they'll design and program that personality into the virtual assistant. Number four, haptic technology designer. Holograms have been used for a while and have become more popular during the pandemic. 3D objects are recorded using laser and an exact 3D clone of it is formed. But imagine a time in the future where we'll hop on a call with a family member or a friend and meet them as holographs. You'll be able to give them a hug and actually feel the hug, or touch their face and actually feel the warmth of their skin. This is just one of the things a haptic technology designer will design. The power of touch, you can kind of leave that behind. Just touch it and grab it. Like, I want this over here now. And I can just take it, feel it, and pull it over. The haptic technology designer uses haptic technology to bring realistic touch control, touch sensing, and precise motion tracking to VR and AR experiences. You can feel the texture of that simply by the vibrations that come off that piece of material or that piece of wood or whatever you're touching. You know, when you long press the screen on your phone and get a small vibration as acknowledgement, those are haptics. This is done by manipulating ultrasound waves. These are arranged into buttons and hotspots we cannot see but feel. Another example is trying on clothes in an online store. You would be able to try on the clothes and not just see how they fit, but also experience the fit and the feel of the clothes. Number 5. Space Tourism Operator Space travel is a growing industry, and soon you'll hear more often about someone who went on vacation in space. Many companies, including SpaceX, Blue Origin, Virgin Galactic, are all eager to make space travel available to more people. As these companies are the equivalent of airline companies in space, and as there is a whole big industry for tourism on Earth, you can imagine that there needs to be a similar function for space travel. Someone knowledgeable of the ins and outs of space travel and capable of organizing trips based on the specific needs of passengers. A space tourism operator is someone who is very knowledgeable about the different locations in the solar system, just like a tour guide in Paris would know every corner in the city. Well, I'm all for this. After all, who would want to risk getting lost in space or accidentally getting left behind? The space tourism operator takes tourists into orbit to visit space stations and beyond. He will plan tours with different experiences, which could include a tour specifically for people who want to collect space junk to recycle and reuse. I'm wondering how much that will cost. If you want to know more about each of the jobs and what skills and knowledge you need, check out the 100 Jobs of the Future report, link in the descriptions below. I hope this video has inspired you to think about a possible career change and how you can use your favorite skills in creating an exciting future. Life is too short to just do what everyone else does. If you're someone who wants to have a fulfilling and meaningful career, sometimes it means taking some risk and changing your career. If that sounds scary to you but exciting at the same time, well then this channel is for you. And in that case, make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell to all notifications so that you won't miss a single video from me. Thank you so much for watching and see you again soon.